welcome to Belmont Journal, Belmont's new show and community update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we have Ellen O'Brien Cushman, our town clerk. Thank you for being with us. Hi, thanks for inviting me. So we have a special event coming up. When is the voting date? Yeah, so Belmont's annual town election, pretty exciting this year, will happen on Tuesday, April 5. Uh, and the polls will be open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Great. And when is the last day to register to vote? That's a great question. In Massachusetts, there is a law that says that the last day to register to vote and qualify is 20 days before the election. That's coming up pretty quickly on March 16th at 8 p.m. So if I would like to encourage people who might be interested in voting in the upcoming election to check and make sure they are registered to vote. And if not, do so. It's pretty simple. Um, and we should on the town clerk's website, but to register to vote, you can go to www.registertovotema.com. Great. And um, why is it important to vote in local election? Oh, this is my favorite question. I love this question. Many people think that it's so important that they vote in state or elections where there's a president or some of the primaries. But in my opinion, voting local is really critical. The reason is that when, especially in a place like Belmont or a town like Belmont, all of the decisions that govern your life every single day and what things you are allowed to do and not allowed to do pretty much are decided locally and that ballot, the people you put into those positions. So for example, um, when people go to town meeting, you want to know, they want to know and they're voting and uh, enforcing zoning laws to say, for example, that a lighthouse cannot be built right now or whether the dogs need to be leashed. Uh, there are all kinds of bylaws, general bylaws, zoning bylaws, how our money is spent, whether it's on schools or road plowing or road fixing. Uh, those are absolutely critical everyday issues. And to miss out on that election, I think you are giving up your rights. Right. And what are the offices uh, we are voting on April 5th? So in Belmont, we have our form of government is actually a representative town meeting form of government with a select board and all of those are elected. So we have a town wide elections for the moderator of town meeting, the members of the select board, the town clerk, board of assessors, board of cemetery commissioners, board of health, trustees of the public library, the municipal light board, board. Now, I'd like to talk about that in a minute, if you don't mind. And finally, the members of the school committee. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have town meeting, uh, which in Belmont consists of almost 300 town meeting members. Great. And continuing with the voting, is there an uh, early, vo early voting option? No. Uh, early voting, which is basically uh, no excuse absentee voting is not permitted this year. The legislature did not take action to enable it in municipal elections, although I understand that they are considering it again for the fall elections uh, in September and November. So the only type of uh, voting that is available to people, um, registered voters in Belmont, are uh, to vote on election day in person, those hours that I described, or if you qualify for an absentee ballot. And there are only three reasons under the Massachusetts Constitution that allow, allow to exercise that right for absentee. One is that you are outside of Belmont on the election day, uh, and you will not be here at all during the polling hours. Two is that you have a disability and you're unable to get to the polls. Or three, that you have a religious conflict with uh, um, a voting day. So other than that, you need to show up in person if you intend to vote. Yes, and where are the locations? So in Belmont, we have eight voting precincts and they're located at seven different places around town. We're only four and a half square miles. So uh, voting is very accessible to people. So uh, precinct one votes at the library. Precinct two votes here where I am at town hall. Precincts three and five vote at the Beach Street Center, the senior center. Precinct six votes at the fire headquarters on Trip and then we have voting locations in three of our elementary schools, the Butler, the Burbank, and the Winbrook School. Because of the 2020 census, there were some changes about. Can you share about it? 
Certainly. Uh, the federal census of 2020 showed that Belmont's population uh, had grown, but also had grown in an uneven fashion. That meant that all of our precincts were not in balance in terms of the population. So we were required to do what's called re-precincting or redrawing some of our precinct lines. And that applied only to four of our eight precincts. The precincts that uh, were unchanged and uh, will continue on to be unchanged are precincts three, four, five, and seven. Precincts one, two, six, and eight, those had to be re uh, the outcome of that is sort of twofold. One, that uh, when we redrew those lines, people perhaps who used to vote at uh, Winbrook School now have to vote at the library, or people who used to vote at the library now are going to vote at, at uh, fire headquarters. And any voter who has been affected by this has already received from me a individualized postcard telling them what their new uh, voting location is going to be. The second uh, thing, the second impact of that reprecincting is, of course, on the election directly. Whereas our usual is we vote 12 town meeting members for a three year term, uh, those precincts who were redrawn, one, two, six, and eight again, they will have to vote for all 36 of their town. So the ballot is pretty long. It has a lot of names. Uh, and in each one of those, precincts where we'll be electing 36 people. I think we have well over 40 candidates. So it's going to be a very active and interesting election. Yes, it sounds like. If people didn't get the, the car, where can they check? So we actually have a couple of backup uh, things happening as well. In addition to the card, we have the town census is about to come out. It's actually going to hit the mail on Saturday. And in there is another full explanation about what happened and what streets were um, changed. And lastly, Bill, also anyone who receives a uh, electric light bill will get an insert into the electric light bill or it'll be on their website telling them what streets particularly have been changed. So those voting locations we changed. If anybody has any questions, though, they can always call the town clerk's office or come in. Uh, we're at 617-993-2603, and we answer the phone and email all day. Great. Anything do, new in the ballot? Yes. So I mentioned earlier, and thank you for asking, the Municipal Light Board, which was created uh, by vote of town meeting last year and has been approved, will be on the ballot for the first time. And the town will be asked to fill that uh, board with five members. Those five members will be running for a three-year term, a two-year term, or a one-year term. So we do have races in each one of those. I think one of them only has the exact number of candidates running for the number of seats that are available, but it's really interesting. And I do hope that a lot of people uh, investigate why we have a municipal light board and what they're going to be doing for us. Sounds good. Anything you would like to add? I would. Um, I'd love to add that, um, as I mentioned, there's no early voting, but there will be in-person absentee. So if by chance you are, realize that you're traveling out of town in the last couple, three weeks before the election, and you qualify uh, as those three types of uh, excuses for absentee, um, we will have a polling place set up here at Town Hall, and you can come in and, and cast your uh, ballot there. And um, I guess I wish really good luck to all the people who are putting their names on the ballot. It takes a little bit of courage to do so. And, you know, I guess I would I would tell uh, voters, anybody in town residents to make sure that they're their town meeting um, candidates and townwide office candidates and understand what's happening and what their opinions are and look for the. League of Women Voters will have a voter guide, as they always do, uh, with little descriptions of what people um, are standing for or hoping to do when they get in office, so that they're informed when they hit the ballot box on April 5th. Great. Thank you, and good luck to all the candidates, and this work for a better Belmont. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for having us. me. Thank you. And that was it for today. This was your host, Mari Bel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.